Hey, what's going on everybody? It's been a long time since I've posted anything on YouTube. I, um, I've been busy. I've been doing stuff, been having fun, loving my family, and been spending a lot of time with family recently. Like really just focusing on my two sons, my oldest son is six, my youngest son is four, Jaden and Tyler. I've been focusing on just building family and just, you know, enjoying life with them and my wife Rahel. And uh, so yeah, I haven't really put anything out you know, over the last year or year and a half, excuse me. And so I thought, man, maybe it's time to actually start bringing some stuff back in. Um, I was thinking about doing something a little bit different, which was like really short videos, which would hopefully be encouraging and motivating for people. Um, and so I wanted to start off with a thought, you know, one of the main things I always talk about with anyone that I'm maybe mentoring or anyone that I'm speaking to, who's having um, doubts in faith or anything, a lot of it comes down to purpose and a lot of it comes down to calling and, and feeling chosen. Um, and that's something that a lot of people struggle with because of just the way that life works. You know, oftentimes people will often say like, you know, if you're walking with God, everything's gonna be so great all the time, everything's gonna be amazing. But hey, that's not always the case. It's not always rainbows and lollipops, you know? And, uh, that's what you would think it is, rainbows, lollipops being awesome stuff. You know, I, as I've lived my life, I've realized, you know, like life isn't always so upbeat and so amazing all the time. You do go through those hard times. You, could, you do go through times of struggle in that. And, you know, I think um, even when you've been called by God, you know, even if it's to do something great in life, you're still gonna face opposition. You're still gonna face like an enemy that wants to try and take you out. And I was reading in, um, in Galatians and it says that even before I was born, God called me and God chose me. You know, Paul was saying that even before I was born, God called me and God chose me. Now, Paul is someone who you would never think that God would want to call or choose because of the persecution that he presented towards the Christians of, you know, the early church. And so he's not somebody who God, who I would think that God would say like, yeah, that's my guy because, well, this guy is one of the biggest enemies to the movement that God has created on this earth at that time. But God still had called him and God still had chosen him and intercepted him in his, like in the middle of him persecuting the church and persecuting the followers of Jesus to say, you know what? You are called, you are chosen to do something great for me. And I think... Even us, even now, 2019, you might be sitting there at home watching this and you might sit there and think to yourself, well, I'm struggling, you know, I don't have it all together. You know, I have no idea what, how my life looks. I don't feel like I'm called. I don't feel like I'm chosen. I don't feel like I have purpose. But the thing is this, if God can call and choose someone like Paul to become one of the, the greatest apostles in history, then God can choose you and God can call you to do something great in your life as well. So just keep that in mind. Like when you're thinking to yourself, like, hey man, I don't know what my life is, like what, how it's gonna to amount to or what it's gonna to amount to. I don't know what's gonna happen in my life. Just remember that if God can call and choose him, God can call and choose you. If God can call and choose Noah, Abraham, um, King David, you know, Solomon, Hosea, all these guys that you look at in the Old Testament, Paul in the New Testament, Peter, any of the apostles, you know, any of these guys, none of them were perfect and none of them did anything fantastic or so great before they were called by God to actually warrant being called by God. Then why can't God choose you? Why can't God use you? So just keep that in mind if you're feeling a little bit low or anything like that. Hey, God's got a plan for your life and God wants to do something significant and amazing through your life. It doesn't mean that you're going to become like this famous superstar or like uh, being featured on preachers and sneakers or anything like that. But what it does mean is that God has a plan for you and that God wants to do something great for you. All right, everyone, hope you guys have an amazing afternoon, evening, nighttime, morning, wherever you are on this planet. God loves you. God's got a plan for your life. Keep believing it and keep walking in it. All right. Bless you guys. Bye.